some of the scenes in the book are like a reenactment of things. In book two, there are wraiths that come out of the mist and they will hold you, mesmerize you and hold you in their, if you look at their eyes, you're stuck. Mm. And so, and then once they have you, they draw a, a claw down you and suck all the energy out of, and they attack the fairies in this way, it's really an analogy for energy vampires because when you live with someone who is draining your energy, it's really hard. In the book, the answer is love. Mm. And that's how the fairy, because if the fairies are the emissaries of love. And so they fight this war with the race by just aiming love at the wraiths, which causes the wraiths to dissolve back into mist. And I realized as I was reflecting on how this kind of came onto paper, I was thinking, oh my gosh, my former marriage, what was needed was for me to be able to give unconditional love because that would have healed the pain that he had. But when you're in the thick of the war <laughs> and you have anger, rage, and blame thrown at you, it's impossible. Mm -hmm. I could not be unconditionally loving. I had the condition that he treat me right. Mm -hmm. I had to remove myself from that battlefield in order to understand what was going on in order to be able to raise my love to unconditional. 